What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Budget Stuff. And this week we are taking a look at four products from Tresemme. I'm only holding two, but I promise there's two more. So Tresemme is certainly one of those just absolutely massive brands. I mean, you can find them everywhere from your drugstore to the big, you know, Walmarts and Targets and other big stores. You can probably even find them down the street at your local convenience store. Now, as I mentioned, I have four products today. And when I was shopping and looking at this like huge just wall of Tresemme stuff, I didn't see any, like, what we would consider, like, a men's hairstyler. Like, they didn't have any, you know, tins or jars. Like, so no pomades, no waxes, clays, or those sort of things. So the four products I have for us today. Firstly, I have this Between Washes Style Refresh All-in-One Spray. This one, uh, it says, hydrates, smooths, and protects. And from when I was reading this in the store, it sounded like this is supposed to be kind of a budget version of you know, something like a leave, like a 25 spray. Uh, so I thought that would be interesting to check out. I did buy one of their gel products because I feel like this was the closest thing to, you know, what a, what a, a, a guy would typically go for. Um, so this is their level five mega sculpting gel. Mega gel, mega? Yeah, mega sculpting gel. Uh, mega Firm Control. And it says right on the top, holds for 24 hours in high humidity. Then I grabbed one of their dry shampoos. This one is their Fresh and Clean. It says instantly refreshes and revives hair. And it also on the bottom there says no visible residue, which is a thing that many dry shampoos advertise and not all of them deliver on. So we'll see how this bad boy holds up in that department. And last but certainly not least, I did grab one of their hairsprays. I was going to get their, that sort of like the one that everybody knows, like the level five, I think it's called freeze hold spray or whatever. You know the one, it's everywhere, you've seen it everywhere. Um, but then I saw these, these are apparently new. The packaging is newer and it's got this neat kind of hourglass shape and supposedly it uses what does it say? Uh, it's the same like number of sprays as the bigger standard cans, but um, this is supposed to use a lot less like aerosol gas propellant. So I thought that was neat. So in terms of the pricing and packaging, the pricing is easy. Literally like every single one of their products that I saw was $4.99. It was, I mean, I was hard pressed to find a product by them that wasn't $4.99. So obviously very, very affordable. And the packaging is fine. I mean, a lot of these look okay. They are a bit wordy, like the, the hairspray one, there's just a lot to read on the front of that. It's like, you know, there's just there's just a lot happening, you know, and it, it looks like what you would expect for drugstore hair product packaging, I suppose. So it's nothing like, you know, super bougie looking or anything like that, but I wouldn't expect it to be. Next up, we can talk about the scents on each one, and it's pretty simple because I feel like all four of these kind of smell the same. So like the gel one. Yeah, I, I mean. It's not bad. It certainly smells way better than those fucking Axe products that are still sitting in my trash can right here. Um, it just, it's weird. Like it kind of smells like hairspray. I, I don't know. It just, it smells like Tresemme. It smell like they have a kind of unique smell in my opinion. It's not something memorable like the Moroccan oil scent. It's a little fruity and it's a little clean and it's also a little, chemically. So do the scents, or the one scent, does it fuck me up? No. But is it terrible? No, it it's fine. All right, now let's get into the demo footage for each one. Now for this all-in-one spray deal, um, it actually says in their how to use thing, it says spray a few pumps directly onto dry hair and style as desired. Um, but I feel like this is definitely more, for me anyway, it would be better to use this as a pre-styler. So in the demo here, we're going into clean, damp hair, and I'm just going in with about four pumps of this or so, just enough to get a nice even coverage. Work that through with the hands a bit, comb it through, and then we're gonna blow dry that bitch. And here we are, and it doesn't look half bad. It's got a decent level of shine to it. It's got some okay volume. It doesn't feel super hydrated, which is kind of weird because that's the first thing that it says it does, hydrates, smooths, and protects. 
Um, it is pretty smooth and it's not super dry, but it's not great. Now, I did also try this on dry hair as they suggested, but we'll get back to that in just a minute. First, we need to take a look at the gel demo. So with this, they do recommend in their instructions to apply a quarter sized amount to damp hair and then, or rather to towel dried hair and then to blow dry it, or you could air dry. And it says that either way, it should not get crunchy. So here we are again, freshly washed hair, nothing else in it, damp. And I'm going in with that quarter sized amount, which honestly feels like kind of a lot. And working it into the hair, I mean, it's a gel. It feels very slick. There's no, absolutely no tug or pull or anything like that. It just, it, I don't know. I don't like gels. It feels like I'm just putting some like KY on my head, which is just weird. Gross. But we went ahead and blow dried that bitch. And check this out though. It's not half bad. Once again, it's got a decent looking amount of natural shine to it. It's got some pretty good volume. It definitely, uh, added just a touch of grip when I was going through with the brush, so it added some nice control. And now obviously I'm not gonna put more of this into dry hair because that would just be a total fucking disaster, so I just let this sit on its own. Now, before we actually look at the, you know, endurance footage here uh, and talk about the hold on this, I wanted to mention, I think that products like these that are marketed more towards women or, or folks who have like longer hair, like I'm talking like shoulder length hair. Um, I think the hold level that they're talking about is not the same thing as the hold level that we're used to talking about on things like pomades and clays and waxes. You know, for products like those that are meant for shorter hair, the hold level is kind of like, is it gonna stay exactly where you put it after you put it in your hair? Like, is it gonna turn your hair into a moldable thing that you can just put somewhere and let it sit there? Whereas with these type of products, I think the hold level is more like, is it going to hold the shape. So with a hold level on this, I think what they're saying is like, okay, if you put this in and then you curl your hair, it will hold the curls all day and they won't go flat. Or, you know, if you if you put this in and you blow dry it straight, maybe it's, it's gonna hold that straightness. It's not gonna get curly and, and puff out or something. So with all of that being said, now we can take a look later in the day. This is about four or five hours later and it held up pretty well. It definitely deflated a little bit in the volume department and it didn't, you know, quite hold the straightness of my hair. You can see a little bit of my natural wave starting to come back, but all in all, I don't think this looks that bad. Again, it feels a bit dry. It doesn't feel crispy, but it doesn't feel really soft and hydrated either. It's just kind of, you know, when you run your fingers through it, it just feels dry. Like it feels like I could use a little bit of something to just like give it back some life. So since my hair was feeling quite dry at this point, I decided to try the all-in-one spray on dry hair as the product suggests. And honestly, I thought that it was just gonna make my curls come out because it's, a, I mean, it's a wet product and normally you apply something wet like water to hair that's been heat styled and the heat styling just disappears. Uh, but to my surprise, it didn't disappear and actually it did help to just make my hair feel a little bit less dry. It didn't really do anything else. It just kind of helped to combat that dryness, but you know, worth mentioning, I suppose. All right, next up, we're moving on to day two and we are trying out their dry shampoo. So as you can see here, my hair on day two is looking a little bit on the oily side. So it's a perfect opportunity to apply some of this dry shampoo. So what they recommend is to hold the can about eight to 10 inches away from your head, lift up sections of hair, spritz a bit on there, massage it into the roots to absorb any excess oil and then brush it through to finish. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. And after those first few spritzes, it doesn't really seem like it did anything. I mean, to be fair, you know, they're saying uh, no visible residue. And at this point there is no visible residue. So that's nice, I guess, but it didn't really do anything. Like my hair still feels oily. So I decided to go in with a couple more spritzes, just figuring maybe I just didn't use enough. And after a couple more spritzes, bitch, what does that look like? Yeah, no visible residue, my ass. But I will say, despite the visible residue, after massaging and brushing, that does go away. And that's a thing that a lot of dry shampoos do. They just, they give your hair like a white cast 
um, and usually that does dissipate as you brush it through. Um, but like a really good dry shampoo wouldn't do that. So at least, you know, that went away after brushing it through. And at this point, it does feel like it absorbed that excess oil. My hair does feel and look drier. Um, but it, to that same degree, now it feels like too fucking dry. So it, it seems like there's a very fine line with this of not enough product versus too much product. All right, and last, but certainly not least, we need to take a look at the hairspray. Now, I mentioned I went for their highest hold one uh, because I just, I wanna try it on its own and see really how strong it can possibly be. Now, does this thing say that it's not supposed to get crunchy? It, it, so it doesn't say that it's not supposed to get crunchy, but it says, it kind of says. On the top, it says, you wanna hold your style? You want hair that moves? You can have both. Is that really true? We about to find out. So here we go, starting out again with freshly washed hair. This time I did blow dry it. I didn't put any other pre-stylers or anything in there. So this is just my natural hair and oh, oh, bitch, it is looking snatched. So we're going in with the hairspray alone. Now, once again, it says to hold it, but you know, about 10 inches away from your head and just spritz it on. Uh, I will say that the mister cap on this is pretty good. It's not like shooting out, you know, streams or anything. It does mist fairly well, but it feels crispy already. Like this one section of hair here in particular, I don't know if I was just a little too close to my head when I sprayed that area or what, but it is like, seriously, it just feels like all the moisture was just sucked out of my hair. So, I mean, it is giving the hair a nice natural shine at least, and it does feel like the hold is okay. So I tested here kind of like running my fingers through or even a brush to, which that does kind of alleviate the crispiness a bit. But then of course it, it, you're kind of undoing the hold. So I finished up with just a couple more spritzes and gave it a little while to sit. Um, I actually only gave this like half an hour to an hour because it, it was holding pretty well. well. We'll say that. It's light feeling in the hair. I mean, it, it should be. It's a fucking hairspray. It's not like a pomade or something. Um, and the hold was pretty strong. It basically stays where you put it. It will move a little bit. Uh, so you kind of have that, you know, hair that stays in place but also moves thing that they're talking about, but it is so fucking dry! It is so crispy. Like, I wish I had my microphone on when I was recording this bit because you should have heard the fucking sound that that brush made when I tried to work it through there. It literally, it was just like, <sighs> it hurt, man. Like this face, this face right here, that is a real reaction. That is not acting. So I literally, I had to go and put some like oil-based, I put in some Fuertes clay because I need, I was like, my hair needs some moisture back, like ASAP. All right, so overall thoughts on the Tresemme products. Mediocre, they're mediocre. The all-in-one spray was pretty decent. It, you know, it kind of was like a budget version of something like the 25 spray, but this ain't no goddamn way this is replacing 25. I mean, it's, you know, it says hydrates, smooths, and protects. It kind of did those things, but it did all of them just kind of poorly. Like it didn't hydrate that great. It didn't smooth that well. And it did it, does it protect your hair? I don't know. Heat damage really isn't that big of a fucking issue. The gel, I was actually pretty pleasantly surprised with the gel. I, this, I was the most terrified to use this one because I just fucking hate gels, but um, you know, putting it into wet hair and then blow drying had some pretty decent results. Again, it was pretty drying, but the um, overall, the hold was pretty decent. Now, the dry shampoo, I, I didn't really like this. I, you know, the whole, the no visible residue thing, that's a lie. And like I said, it, 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 there was a weird, like you either didn't use enough or you put one more spritz in and then it was too much product and it was too dry. Um, so yeah, I would say if you're in the market for a dry shampoo, look elsewhere. That was a weird inflection. And lastly, the hairspray. Uh, mixed feelings on this one because while it did give the hair a decent natural shine and obviously it, it did have pretty decent hold, I can't get past the fucking crisp factor. I mean, a good hairspray will hold your style, 
but it won't make your hair crispy. And this was like fucking instant. It wasn't even like, give it a minute. And it says on here that it's like quick drying. Boy, it is quick drying, uh, but not really in a good way. It's like spritz and instantly your hair is like just fucking, like you left kale chips in the oven for way too long and you go to take them out and then they just crumble into dust. That's kind of what this feels like. So, yeah, I mm, I like the whole thing about like smaller packaging and using less gas and whatever. Like that's cool, uh, but the hairspray itself was kind of shit. So yeah, I think the dry shampoo and the hairspray, Kobe, in the bin. But yeah, these two were not that bad. So you know, are these okay if if you're in a pinch and you just need some kind of blow dry product that's gonna work decently for five bucks? Yeah, they're okay. So that wraps things up for episode four of Budget Stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I've got lots more exciting stuff coming up soon. I've got a new review of a new matte paste. I've got a bunch of shampoos and conditioners and things that I'm looking at. I mean, there's just, it's like never ending. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one. Oh, 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 oh,